Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be a little bit different. I don't think I've ever done this on the channel before, or at least not to the extent that I want to do this. And I might do this for more decks in the future. This was something that was suggested by someone on my previous Dry Charm videos, as well as people in my Discord brought it up that people just want to watch me play decks and do test hands and stuff like that. And I also did need an upload for today because I'm trying to get back on YouTube's good side with their algorithm by being at least consistent like I once was in the past, so hopefully things start improving on the channel. <laughs> um, but, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to just play out a couple of test hands with Dry Charm. I'm just going to shuffle the deck up, draw random five card hands, play them out to completion, give you some like thought processes along the way, and that sort of stuff. I'm going to try and do as many test hands as I can, it'll probably end up just being two because this deck does have a lot of moving parts, and it tends to take time to get those moving parts into right positions especially if i'm going to be sitting there thinking about it and trying to talk about it so i'm going to try and waste as little time as possible at the beginning of this video if you are new here and you like this concept and you want to see this done with more decks definitely let me know in the comments down below and subscribe if you're new here and want to see more content like i said i'm being consistent like i once was in the past many many years and many many moons ago uh if you're interested in the content that i create and you like what you see and you want to see more then definitely hit that little subscribe do button and also drop a like on the video if you like what you see, because again, algorithmic benefits. I require them. Send help. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is, uh, is I'm going to basically do a condensed version of what I do on my live streams. If you don't know, I live stream twice a week, Thursdays and Saturdays. I want to pick up a third day when I get you know my work schedule at work work worked out. Uh, and the link to that, as well as my Discord server, the link to my Twitch and my Discord, are both in the description of this video, as well as every other video on my channel. So, if you want to go there, follow the page, get notified when I go live, or join the Discord server where I also announce when I'm going live. You're welcome to do either. So, first hand. Okay, this hand is actually kind of nice, <laughs> for very strange reasons. Alpha plus Manju, okay, plus Medionis Drytron, which is, you know, not the best. It's only one Drytron name, but double prep. Um, this is going to be obviously very beneficial uh, to to us in the in the long run. So we're not going to be able to make Digesto Emerald with this hand because we only opened one Drytron. Uh, so that's unfortunate. But we are going to be able to drop prep and do like full combo. So what we're going to do is we're going to normal summon this Manju. We're going to use Manju's effect to add Benton. And hope that we don't get drolled, because we don't really have anything that we can respect it with. Uh, if we got ashed on this, then we could just prep for uh, for Benton. Not really anything that you have to worry about. So, now from here, we're going to use Alpha, pitching the Benton, summoning the Alpha, and then Alpha's effect is going to add the Megalith Fool. Actually, no, we're going to add Bethor, because we have double prep. Yeah, we're going to add Bethor. Add Bethor. And then Benton's effect will trigger searching. Let's see, we've already got the Manju, so we could search another Benton, and that would probably be the most ideal. I don't want to blow through the Bentons all too early, so I'll be starting to search other things besides the Bentons. One of these preps can add Megalith Fool, which is fantastic. Uh, but first, we're going to go up into Union Carrier because we need access to more Drytron names. So we already have the Ritual spell, so that's fine. If we didn't have the ritual, the ritual spell, we would have just used one of these preps to add Benton instead of just, uh, adding it with Manju, because we'd add the ritual spell and then do this play, and then we just have one less prep in hand. But because we drew the ritual spell, like even though it's like not the greatest card to draw, I would have definitely rather it have been Fafnir or Zeta um, or Cyber Emergency. It's still fun. But so Union Carrier effect on itself, equip Dawn Knight from deck, and then we have a 2,000 attack machine that we can utilize through Medionis Drytron. So, Medionis Drytron to send the Union Carrier equipped with Dawn Knight to Grave to summon the Benton. And then the Dawn Knight is going to send... Hmm, what is the best one to send here? I could send Gamma and guarantee the two monsters, or I could send Delta and guarantee myself a draw. And depending on what the draw is, then we're going to be in better shape overall. Now, Delta would be one monster on the board. Uh, we are going to be able to summon Fool. Fool for Ophiel gets Ock, summons that. So that's Fool plus two cards. Um, and then Herald. So we need extra cards in order to get into that. But honestly, though, 
I mean, scared money doesn't make money, so we're going to send the Delta because the deck has so many good cards in it that we could draw into that, like, we might as well. We might as well try, right? We might as well try and draw because if we don't try to draw cards, we can't, like, get a better hand. Um, like, that's just not something that's possible. Um, so, do I want to activate this prep first? Because I could thin my deck for, like, Herald of Perfection or, or The Fool and try to draw other cards. But I think I'd rather just draw those cards straight up anyway because then it just means I can commit to like using these to like float Bentons into other things and get a lot of resources. So I'm gonna attribute this Benton for the Delta and I'm going to use the Delta to reveal the Benton and draw a card. That's a really good card. That's another draw shot name. That's two monsters and another draw shot name. Benton effect here is going to add Herald of Orange Light so that we have access to uh, negating Nibiru, since we're not gonna be able to make like Appaloosa early or anything like that. And we already have another Benton in hand. And so now we don't wanna add back with Mediona's Drytron's effect because we have all these preps that we get to use and we wanna use them to the most of their ability. So we're gonna use this prep and I'm gonna add Fool from deck to hand and I'm going to add back the Mediona's Drytron because that will allow us to actually like float back Benton again to get an additional search which I kind of want to stock up on since I can't make Emerald in this hand um, well actually I ooh, that's a thought I think I could make Emerald I would have to summon Ock and Ophiel separately but I think I've got enough cards and resolutions of Meteonus Drytron to do it because I've got three more possible uh, activations of Meteonus Drytron this turn one two and then adding it back for the third so quite possibly i might do that let's see anyway uh one of them has to be for herald so one could be for herald one could be for benton and one could be for uh for like ock maybe hmm let's see um bethor tribute benton summon fool and then uh, Fool Effect to add back Benton, and then Benton Effect to add. Uh, so Benton is going to add Eva, so that we're uh, good on that front. So add Eva here. And then we can Drytron Nova for Gamma. And if we Drytron Nova for Gamma, then we're going to be able to... Um, we're going to be able to, uh, I think I'm skipping a bunch of steps that in my mind when I should just be committing to this play line first. Fool effect for Ophiel. <laughs> I should just be playing this out first. Uh, fool effect for Ophiel. Um, Ophiel effect, Benton effect. Uh, Benton adds Benton. Um, Benton adds Benton and Ophiel adds Ock. And so, what we're going to be capable of uh, doing here is that now we get to go... Um, I try to cut in a different way every single time. Uh, we can use Mediona's Drytron to summon the Ock out of hand by getting rid of this and just drawing and discarding. Or we can Ophiel and then summon back the Ophiel from Grave, which I think is what we're actually going to do. Yeah. I'm going to attribute Ophiel, summon the Ock, use Ock effect to draw one, discard one. So draw one. Uh, I don't really care for any of this. And then I can I discard one. But let's see here. I kind of would like to hold this. This is a good follow up. But at the same time, there's so many of it. Yeah, it's fine. It's nothing. So now I could use Meteonus Drytron because this is still 2K. So I can go Meteonus Drytron to tribute this to summon back the Ophiel. And now I have my two fours to make Digusto Emerald since I had to get rid of the Manju early. And there are two Bentons in Grave and one Benton in my hand. And then I can Nova for Gamma and do all that. Yeah, fantastic. So, do these two into Digusto Emerald. Uh, Digusto Emerald, detach, put back Benton, Benton, and Union Carrier. Put these back, shuffle up, and draw. Uh, we've got the Medionus Drytron's Grave Effect still alive. We have another prep in hand, which can add Herald of Perfection, add back the Medionus Drytron. Uh, so we're summoning as many things like as we want. 
Like it's it's not it's not a problem. So draw one, Fafnir. Not the greatest, also not the worst. Go ahead and activate that. Go ahead and add another Nova to hand, uh, just to thin it out of the deck. So we like draw better cards next turn or whatever. And now from here we could use Nova for Gamma. And I could make Gamma into Link Karibo. Or I could just go ahead and use it on the field as it stands. Um, which I think is what I'm going to do. Yeah. Prep for Herald and the Medion is Drytron back. I'm not doing any more drawing uh, this turn. I've, I've exhausted all my draw effects. Oh, that's actually a lie. I haven't made Cross Sheep yet. I could make that. I don't think I'm going to, though. Uh, but so add Herald of Perfection and add back Medionis Drytron. Uh, I'm going to use Medionis Drytron, getting rid of this, summoning the Herald of Perfection from my hand, and then I'm going to use the Gamma, tributing the Benton. The Gamma will summon back a dude, and the Benton will search another Benton because we recycled them, and we don't really have the capability of making Appaloosa because we were a bit short on names. But the Herald of Perfection more than makes up for it, as well as the fact that we have Herald of Orange Lights uh, in hand, and that we're backing up this entire thing with uh, with Fool for Bethor. So we're just going to link these away into Herald of Mirage Lights, just because this card is uh, a little bit more awkward for the opponent to have to deal with as well, because it means that like even if this gets dealt with like through some means, uh, there's still a Spell and Trap Negate online. So a Spell and Trap Negate plus Fool for like an obscene amount. Let's see, one two, three, four. Yeah, it's only four because the Ock is stuck under the Emerald. It's not for five. Uh, but if they out this, then it is five. Weird. Um, so, full for four at minimum. Uh, we have a bunch of negates from Herald because we have Eva that we can discard, which adds two more fairies. That's three negates already. We have four negates off this. And then, uh, once full triggers, uh, triggers Benton, uh, I could either discard this immediately to negate a fifth card, or I could fool Benton into Bethor, and then the Benton searches another card for me to discard off Herald, so I could sequence that a little bit. So, like, this this deck is nice. This deck works out, like, really well. Uh, basically, those are the sorts of ideal hands. Uh, the ha only ha way that hand, uh, like, as a starting point would have been better is if the Medionis Drytron was actually just a Drytron name. Um... Because we did that entire combo uh, through its starting stage with just Alpha. So, like, we alpha and manju into Union Carrier and then, like, got the second name off of that and then got access to a third name off of the, uh, off of the Nova that we just randomly drew. So, that wasn't even, like, ideal in terms of, like, what Drytron's names uh, we had in circulation. But, like, it's still, like, fine. Because the deck plays very well with like small amounts of cards, um, and because like usually when you're not drawing like engine cards or like a lot of Drytron names, your deck is like full of other cards that are like nuts, like prep and and stuff like that. Oh my god, slippery sleeves. No, please, don't don't do this to me now. Daddy needs you. Anyway, uh, that's a few too many cards. Herald of Perfection, Bethor, Foolish, Alpha, Eva. Ugh. <laughs> this, woo. This hand's a bit, um, a bit awkward. Okay, so. Foolish is, like, my least favorite Drytron name because it actually just kind of sucks. Um, let's see here. So I could go Alpha, pitch, her like, the Herald of Perfection. We've already got Eva in hand, so that's fine. Um, I could Foolish for Zeta. Um,. Summon Zeta pitching Alpha. Alpha pitch this. But then I don't get to trigger Benton. Yeah. I'm going to trigger Alpha by getting rid of Perfection. Because Bethor has more value in the hand than Herald of Perfection does. And Alpha is going to add Benton. Okay. And then we're going to Foolish. Which I really wish was a Fafnir or a Nova. <laughs> for Zeta. And there it is. And then we're going to use Zeta... Tributing the Benton, and that's going to add Medionis Drytron, 
and Benton is going to add Manju. Okay, so we're going to get access to a lot of stuff here. The question here is, do I want more Drytron names? Do I want the guaranteed Drytron name, or do I want to draw to discard to? Because if I draw to discard to, it's going to lead into... Um, into... Uh, drawing another card off Ock, another card off of uh, Emerald. Hmm. I think I just want the guaranteed Drytron name here. I don't want to risk the, the draw to discard to. Uh, so Manju effect is going to add Fool because we're going to get access to the Benton back off of the uh, off of the Union Carrier play. So we're going to link these two because I want to keep this up for uh, Digesto Emerald. If I have the option to go for Digesto Emerald or uh, Herald of Perfection, I actually value this card higher than Herald of Perfection because it means that the game uh, like resource pool is infinite. Like near infinite. Like basically like enough big enough of a resource pool that it no longer matters how small the resource pool is anyway union carrier effect on itself for dawn knight and then we get to use medionis drytron to send this and the dawn knight that's equipped to it to grave to summon back the benton and then the dawn knight gets to send now we can get gamma uh, which is necessary if we're going to be summoning this Herald of Perfection. Or we could get Delta and try to draw a fresh card. Now, we're going to be drawing one off of uh, Fool into Ock anyway, and we're going to be drawing one off of Emerald. So we're already drawing two. Do we value the third draw that much? Let's see. If I go into Gamma, if I Gamma here uh, to get back Meteon as Drytron, uh, I could also go into Cross Sheep and generate more cards. So I think that that's exactly what we're going to do. So, going to send Gamma. Instead of Delta. Because Delta would be a guaranteed draw one, but we could just see more cards with, um, with uh, other ways. But so here, I could do these, or I could tribute for Gamma, which I'm going to do. I'm going to tribute for Gamma. Special this. And then Gamma will summon the Alpha from Grave. Benton effect. We'll add another Benton here. And then we're going to make cross sheep with these two Drytrons after I add back with Medionis. So add this back, lowering the gamma. Uh, so basically, if I make cross sheep with these, the only way I'm going to be able to summon back this Herald of Perfection is if I draw into another Drytron name. Which we have tons of in the deck. We haven't used Cyber Emergency. We haven't used Fafnir. We haven't used Nova. And we're going to be seeing a lot of cards. So chances should be high. Theoretically. Uh, we're just trying to ride those chances. Is uh, effectively what we're doing here. So Cross Sheep. And then I'm going to use the Bethor. Uh, Ritual Summoning using the Benton. Summoning this Fool. And then Fool Effect will add back Benton. And then Benton Effect will add Herald of Orange Light. So we have Orange Light plus Eva in hand now. And now we have to do some specific things. To use uh, use uh, Fool's Effect for Benton for Ophiel. And Ophiel and Benton will search for another Benton and Ock. And so we're going to summon the Ock in the Cross Sheep Zone. Because I want to draw three and discard three in one fell swoop. I mean, it won't be in the same sequence, but it'll be... Draw uh, draw one, discard one, and then draw two, discard two. So it's going to be chain link one, cross sheep, chain link two, Ock. So we're going to see a lot of cards off of this. And then even if we don't see like the exact things that we want, which is not likely, it's not likely for us to not see them, then uh, then we, uh, we have power cards because we have cards like prep and stuff in our deck. And we've thinned the deck out of all like the obscene garbage. The Dawn Knight's out, the Manju's out. Um... A lot of the cards are just out, right? So, Ophiel Effect to Ritual Summon Ock here. Chain Link 1, Cross Sheep, Chain Link 2, Ock. Because I want to draw 1, discard 1 first, and then draw 2, discard 2. I want to see... I want to be discarding 2 after I've seen all the cards that I'm going to draw, right? So, Resolve Ock first, draw 1, discard 1. Now, since we've drawn this prep, uh, we could actually discard this Medionis. Because we just add it back. 
So that's what we're gonna do. And now draw two. One, two, discard two. Now here's the kicker. I could discard this Benton. This instant fusion's not really doing much. We want to keep all these. Um, but at the same time, I could discard Eva, search with it. <laughs> nah. Uh, we're definitely discarding this instant fusion. We're keeping this because we need this. We haven't used this name either, which is kind of nuts. Um, I think we're discarding this Benton because we have two Bentons in grave. Uh, we already have this, which is fine. Uh, this prep is just going to add a card anyway, so it's just going to add Benton after we put them back with Digesto Emerald. So, this is good. We're going to overlay these into Digesto Emerald. Going to use Digesto Emerald, detaching the Ock, and going Benton, Benton, Benton. <laughs> Shuffle back all three Bentons to draw a card. The Herald of Perfection is already engraved, meaning that prep gets to add Benton. Add back Medionis, and then we get to summon the Herald of Perfection, and then we get to go from there. So, kind of nice. Drew some cards. Got some things going. Got some stuff moving. Anyway, draw a card. Gamma. That's not terrible. It's actually not. Um, anyway, so now, use prep. Prep for one of those three Bentons we just put back. And then Herald of Perfection, uh, well not Herald of Perfection, uh, Medionis Drytron. Gets added back to hand. And so now, from here, uh, we could actually just summon this Zeta by tributing the Benton and getting a search there. So, <laughs> we could honestly do a lot. Uh, Medion is Dreshon. We're going to ditch this Zeta to summon back the Herald of Perfection that was one of the first cards that went to our graveyard. And then we are going to... Let's see... I could summon the Zeta and do like absolutely nothing with it. I've already shuffled back three Bentons, so I could get rid of the Digesto Emerald. I'm leaning towards getting rid of the Digesto Emerald, especially since it puts the Manju in Grave, which means that's just an easier card to banish for Eva. I don't think the game is going to last long enough for the second Digesto Emerald to matter if I bolster my board in the way that I want to make it you know, better. So that is what we're going to do. I'm going to use Zeta. Oh, uh, wait, did I use Zeta already? No, I did use Zeta. Never mind. We don't have any Drytron names. I'm thinking back to the last hand when we hard drew this. No, we did use Zeta. This is where we end. <laughs> I'm glad that I just, like, checked. I was like, something didn't sit right with that declaration of I haven't used Zeta. I was like, wait a, f wait a minute. Anyway, so this is where we end. This is actually just really good as well. Um, because this is Herald of Perfection with... Three negates, four negates, so four Omni negates on Herald of Perfection. This fool, fool, uh, plus Benton, goes into Bethor from deck, and we have uh, one, two, three, four, five names in Grave, because we had the Bethor. So we get to pop for five. <laughs> we get to pop for five with Bethor from deck, and this searches another fairy, which will be a Benton. If we have to discard it for this, we can. Doesn't really matter. Um, funny thing is, is that the cross sheep is still up, so we can summon the Bethor um, that this summons into the cross sheep zone so that we can go chain link one Bethor, target the cards, chain link two cross sheep, draw two, discard two, and then chain link, um, chain link three Benton to add a fairy. So we'll add like another copy of Benton, pop up to five cards, and then uh, we'll draw two, discard two, then pop up to five cards. So like we can just draw into more power cards. So boink, boink, just like draw, uh, just draw these two cards, uh, and then like we would discard these because Fafnir is the superior card because it gets Nova. Um, so like, that's it's it's neat. This deck plays very well. Like you're like this hand was like not optimal. But it still just plays. It plays and gets to its stuff because you play a lot of cards that draw cards. So anyway, that's about as far as I think I can take this video. Yeah, we're 24 minutes in. <laughs> this takes a while because these cards have to be moved around from place to place. And, I mean, honestly, I would have thought that it would have taken longer than 24 minutes for me to play out two hands while actively talking about what I'm doing. Uh, which obviously slows down the process. So, 
If you liked this style of video, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I'm definitely potentially open to making more of these just doing test hands with X deck um, types of videos, especially when we get closer to like the Dragoonity cards coming out, stuff like that. You know, maybe if I pick up World Chalice again, start putting more thought into that. Uh, maybe pick up another pet back of mine, Mermails again. Maybe pick up some new pet decks. Um, I, I'm definitely not against it. It's just the kind of lazy content that I have to put enough thought process into that I might be able to get behind. But anyway, if you're new here and you liked this and you somehow made it this far into the video, I congratulate you. And if you'd like to win your prize, you could do so by clicking that little subscribe button because I could show you more content like this. It'd be great. I promise. But if you like the video, definitely make sure to leave a thumbs up on it. it. Helps out the algorithm. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments down below. If you want to access my Discord server, invite link is in the description down below as well. And if you want to see hours and hours of more content of me just test handing with this deck in various circumstances and playing games with it my live stream link is in the description down below as well to my twitch page but other than that as always guys thanks for watching thanks for your time as usual i'll see you when i see you which will be the next video or next stream whatever but anyway as always take care i will see you in the next video have a good day